Hi, betting experts. On Thursday, the 26th of January, we're off to Weatherby with Wincanton abandoned. Testing ground expected. We need the thaw for the meeting to go ahead, but it's a really competitive card. We start off with our betting expert daily nap in the two o'clock. This is the RacingTV.com handicap hurdle. Nearly two mile four, class five, four year olds and upwards. Three and a half grand to the winner. Really like the claims here of Martin Todd Hunter's mare, Joy de Vivre. Now, she's an eight year old, but she's been pretty lightly raced over the years. Um, she's run 20 times, two from 18 over hurdles, four times in the frame. She comes into this season fit and well from a really good win off a mark of 66 over one mile six on soft ground at Thursk in September. She's run two very promising races at Carlisle and Sedgefield over jumps in October and November. Certainly not seen to best effect last time out. She's been dropped two pounds since, freshened up here after 84 days off. The booking of Sean Quinlan really catches my eye. Martin Todd Hunter, a very shrewd yard when the cash is down. And I think Joy de Vivre will love Weatherby, a flat track with a long straight. I think it'll bring her stamina into play. Play. Our betting expert value angle selection runs in the 1250. This is the RacingTV.com free for a month conditional jockeys handicap chase. Three miles and 45 yards, a class four for five year olds and upwards, nearly five grand to the winner. And I think good work of Oliver Greenall can get off the mark over fences at the ninth time of asking. Now the yard really going well at the minute. Three winners from their last 13 runners, a 23% return. Really good for a small yard and they're very shrewd. Good work's been frustrating since arriving from France. He was a four-time maiden over fences there for Nicole and he's arrived at Oliver Greenall's. He's run four times, unbacked on the first two occasions, but attracting money at Utoxeter in November and running a blinder in the first time hood to finish second behind Boys of Wexford. And last time out, Chepstow, I thought he was a very unlucky loser against Moonlighter. I think Craig Nickel rather overdid things and then rushed him up, made the ground up rather too quickly and somehow got outbattled by Moonlighter. He wouldn't be known for his resolution, to be truthful, but this longer trip will definitely suit three miles. I'm expecting a a really good patient ride from Toby Wynn who's good value for his £3 claim and I think he can give weight and a beating so some inferior class 4 rivals. Best of luck on Thursday betting experts.